Welcome back. I'm Andrea Jean and this kitchen is a complete pit along with the rest of my house. You're going to be so happy that you clicked on this video for all your motivation when it comes to cleaning. I just want to pop in here really quick and introduce myself. I am Andrea Jean. I have three children and this channel is dedicated entirely to cleaning and organizing for busy women. In fact, this whole video is going to exemplify what a realistic cleaning looks like because I know most of you busy mamas, busy women out there, the rest of your life does not stop when you need to clean. A lot of us don't have two or three hours to set aside entirely to cleaning. So in this video, you're going to see several outfit changes here over a period of days and how I actually clean my house on an everyday basis with three kids and a working mama. So if you're interested in that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also stay till the end because I like to do one project that I have been putting off in each of my cleaning videos and I hope that I motivate you to do the same. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Today's video is a collaboration with two wonderful mamas, Yesenia from A Mom's Life and Courtney from Mama Makes It Happen. I have known these ladies since the start of my YouTube journey and they are some of the most supportive women here on YouTube and on Instagram. If you do not know them already, make sure at the end of this video you go ahead into my description box and check out their videos as well. And if you're coming from Yesenia and Courtney's channel, welcome! I'm Andrew Jean. I'm so glad to have you here. I hope that you stick around and subscribe when it comes to all things cleaning and organizing. This video, ladies, is jam-packed. Before we do that, we got some geranium scented Mrs. Myers cleaner. I love this stuff. I'm just about getting ready to use it up and bust into my fall stuff. Um, I haven't busted into the fall stuff yet because I knew if I did, I would probably put this one in the back burner. So I'm going to try to use it up as best as I can. But like I was saying, this video is jam-packed. We got some new decor in our house, both in the kitchen and in the bedroom. A project at the end. I actually start cleaning at 5 a.m. one morning and I'll tell you more about that later. I have some major laundry struggles and some target woes. So if you're interested in hearing and learning all about that, make sure that you stay till the end of this video. If you're cleaning alongside me, awesome. Let's do it together. Let's have some fun and let's just get our houses whipped into shape as best as we can. Thank you again for clicking on this video and I'll be bopping in and out here. All right, let's get into it. It's that time. I am doing a comment of the day. This is just something I've started on my YouTube channel to help show appreciation for those that support my channel, that click on my videos, that keep coming back to watch. And today's comment is from Kim from the Rodriguez fam. She is also a YouTuber. So I'm going to have her channel linked in the description box as well. So if you're looking for some additional motivation, definitely give her a shout out as well. Let her know that I sent you. She is such a sweet and supportive mama and I think you'll really love her. Super down to earth and relatable. Also, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and head on over to Instagram when you're done here. Andrea Jean one, I post on Instagram stories every single day. We have so much fun over there. All things, motivation, cleaning, humor. I really let loose, let my hair down and it's really anything outside of cleaning and organizing, but it does include some of that as well. All right. Time to get things just organized up a little bit here. Um, that's the kid's drawer and I like it down low because then they can be self sufficient and get their own things but sometimes I just like to add my little mama touch to it.
The one little trick that I have to help remind me to take my vitamins every day is I bring them out in the morning when I get the kids and then I just set them on the counter. And since I'm a person that hates stuff lying on the counter, I'm more reinforced to go ahead and take my vitamin. I have no problem taking my gummy vitamins in the morning, but the fish oil one, it takes me a little bit to get it done. Here I am just cleaning out my ugly sink here. You ladies have left me some awesome recommendations. So I'm going to try cleaning this out with a couple of the things that you've mentioned here. Um, I'm going to try the, the uh, magic eraser and I'll let y'all know how it goes. I'm hoping I can get some of those stains out. Um, we're hoping to remodel this kitchen in the next couple of years here. And so then we won't have to worry about it, but I'd love to see if I can get it just a little bit more clean. Here I am just going in with this method heavy duty degreaser. I absolutely love this product and I do let it sit on there as long as I can because I do think it makes a difference. Now there are some really stuck on stains on my stove that are from probably, the stove is probably original to the house. So I'm gonna let that sit there and while it's sitting, I'm gonna go ahead and restock some coffee. <music> getting there the super fun stuff here at the end i mean we're having fun now too but so the things that i talked about earlier like the target woes <laughs> the 5 a.m cleaning we are getting there today i was very grateful to have my husband at home because as you can see they're having three little kids it's super busy and if he wasn't there i would have had to have stopped cleaning the kitchen like a million times you know how it goes i'm just going in with this method laundry detergent i'm really enjoying this um, I think it smells really nice and then I add about a fourth a cup of this white vinegar and I think this just helps soften everything and helps make it a little bit more fresh. It's something new that I've been implementing and if you've never done it I would highly recommend it. Of course there's always laundry in my dryer and uh, it was not dry yet. So here we are. My daughter wanted to play a game of old maid so it's time to put on my mom hat and I had to be done cleaning. Now I didn't get to the floors or anything but that's okay. So here are the new lights that we are putting in our kitchen. One of them had burnt out and was broke, so I thought, let's just get some new ones. And uh, here we can see it's 501 days later. My master bedroom is a disaster. Like, it's got to the point that it drove me so crazy that I woke up at 4.30 to get ready for the day so that I could clean starting at 5 o'clock. Like, that's how bad this was driving me crazy. And I knew today was going to be a busy day and I wouldn't have time because um, I'd be doing family stuff and that's my priority. Um, I love having a clean home but family stuff comes first and of course we gotta have some coffee while we get moving here on round two. So here are some new sheets that I got from Target. I love these jersey sheets. They are so comfortable. And I am going to be redecorating our bedroom here in small phases. I actually just ordered all new furniture, so I'm super excited for that. That should be coming at the beginning of September. We're going to be doing a blush theme and a navy theme. So a little feminine, a little masculine. Very excited. But first, I got to wash these sheets. Again, we got the Method laundry detergent here. I know that there's, um, I think it's a sage 
if you know the name, let me know in the comments below, but I'm going to try that one next. I heard it smells really awesome. You can still see it's still dark out because it is so early, the butt crack of dawn. So I'm trying to be super quiet. And that's another reason I chose to clean my master bedroom is I knew I could be a little bit more um, discreet about it. And it was a complete pit. So we got that going here. I showed you in a few clips earlier, the coffee that I was drinking. It's one from Target. It's a caramel one. I love anything caramel and I highly recommend this one. It just, it tastes delicious. And I just add a little cream and we are good to go. These are just some prints for my son's room. I'm just gonna keep them here for now and then kind of deciding do I wanna to, want to put them up top or do I keep them down here? I'm not really sure. And this, you guys, this is a card for my husband on Valentine's Day. He, it's so huge, right? So I saved it for several months, but I think now it's time to get it out of my closet. <laughs> I'm not one who holds on to a ton of things. I do have some, some sentimental things saved, but this card is one I think that can get tossed. And since he was sleeping, I thought now would be a good time. Here is a sneak peek of our Halloween costumes for this year. We are all going to be Superman, Superwoman themed. Last year we did the Wizard of Oz, so um, this year we're going to be doing that. I'll show you here on my Instagram stories, hopefully in the next couple weeks, those costumes. I haven't tried it on yet. I hope it fits, but I think they're just going to look so adorable. I'm really trying to put more effort into fall time because it is my favorite time of year, and so it's just those little things um, like making family costumes or doing family costumes that I'm going to remember remember and look back on when my kids are all grown and don't think that's cool anymore. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, time to get some of this laundry put away. This is one of those tasks that I put off all the time. Also going through all my nursing stuff. I'm no longer nursing. So I figured it's time to get this out of my drawers and put it downstairs with the rest of the baby stuff. Anything that needs to go downstairs as far as clothes or toys, I just put in those baskets and when I go downstairs, then I'll take the whole basket down with me.
Again, just trying to be very quiet, not to wake my kids because it's that time of morning when they're kind of rustling around a little bit. So just trying to be as sneaky as I can so I can get more cleaning done. You're going to see here in the next couple of clips, my son does wake up and I get him set up with some stuff. Um, my husband was out on the couch. He had fallen asleep there last night. And so um, I took my son out there until the rest of the house woke up. And there he is. They are just the cutest when they wake up in the morning. Oh, Oh, I just, I cherish these moments. As hard as it is having three kids, um, there's days I want to pull my hair out, but really in the end of it, like I, I just love them. And I know this period in our lives will go by so fast and I'll miss pieces of it. But yeah, it's for sure super hard. All right, laundry time, laundry time, laundry time. I hope that I give you some laundry motivation here. I find when I do laundry, I'm looking for any distraction to stop what I'm doing. So what I'm putting away there in the garbage are the leftover um, dryer sheets. So when I'm suffering the laundry, you'll see that blue basket there, that's for all my husband's stuff. And then I put all the linens that go in the linen closet together. And then I try to do one basket with my two sons' clothes and my daughter's clothes. And then mine is just a big pile. My husband likes to put his own clothes away. So I just put them in the basket here as neatly as I can and tuck them right under that shelf. at all that junk all this needs to go downstairs except for those two big boxes but stick with me here because i'm going to be opening up those boxes can you guess what might be inside first i'm going to lay down some of this carpet deodorizer and let it sit for a good 15 minutes i think it really does the trick it smells so delicious it's not overpowering i definitely love this one 
Um, when we do remodel, we are going to be putting in some sort of hardwood floor um, just because I think it's more, I don't know, clean. <laughs> That's what I prefer. I like carpet because it's comfortable. Again, a new cleaning rag, and then I'm just using up this Pledge um, dusting spray is what you'll call it. It does smell really nice. It's lemon scented. But what I did notice here when I got done cleaning later in the day, there was a bit of a residue left over. So I'm not quite sure what that is. Is that from the cleaner or I don't know. I am, I'm a little bit torn. If you have any ideas, let me know. It probably is the cleaner. To our master bathroom. I'm just going in with these Method products. I love the Method anti back toilet bowl cleaner. I think it does a really nice job and it smells fresh, so I would recommend it if you have not used it before. In that previous clip, you saw me just throwing a bunch of junk in the garage. We do that. Um, I was not about to break down those boxes and throw the garbage into the big um, garbage bin. I just really wanted to keep things going, so the less stops that I can make, the better. But let's get this bathroom whipped into shape. Time to dive into these boxes. This is like Christmas, y'all. I'm not a big spender, but when I get an itch or a bug to finally do something that I've been putting off, I just, I'm all in at that point. So first it started with getting new bedding. And then, like I said, I ordered um, new furniture for this bedroom. This stuff will go downstairs to our spare bedroom. You don't see that very often. My husband's made it his office for his reselling business um, now. So it's it probably, it's, it's a mess down there. We'll say that. 
Um, so looky, looky in these boxes, you see how massive these pillows are? These are king size pillows. Now we have a queen size bed, but the comforter uh, quilt that I ordered is a king. So I like to get a little bit bigger bedding. Um, and then I knew the pillows would be king size pillows as well because I made the mistake with a previous comforter that I had. But man, those pillows are mammoth. My husband talks about wanting to get a king size bed, but I just, I can't do it. It just seems way too big and I don't know. I like, that's my, that's my take on it now. When I'm in a hotel, I definitely like it. So I'm just going to reuse one of these target boxes to put our duvet um, blanket back in. That worked out pretty nicely. So now it's just after 12. No, I've not been cleaning since 5 to 12. We did take a break in there to do some family things along the way, but now I am back at it. So this is a blanket that I had ordered at Target, and it is not at all what I thought it was. I thought it would be, I don't know, a different throw blanket. It's way too fuzzy, and I'm worried about what it would be like when I wash it, so I'm going to return that. Now, here's the funny part. So I'm learning my lesson here. I washed my duvet cover and sheets with all my other stuff, and it got so tangled. Like there was so much laundry inside this duvet cover that you can see here. Like this is just nuts. It took me forever <laughs> to get all that stuff out of there. <laughs> so this is what I get for trying to do laundry and be productive around my house at 5 a.m. in the morning, but we get through it here. here is the quilt that I bought. I'm not loving it when I just look at the package. I've never used a quilt before, but what I was drawn to were the clean lines. The thing that I hated about my duvet cover is it was so poofy on the sides there. So I wanted something that just looked really sharp and I thought this would be easy um, to do um, a hospital fold with. 
and it will be. So I'm just looking this over here, looking it over, and I don't like the color at all. In fact, you can see some stains here on it. So I'm gonna return this and I am gonna go with the quilt. In fact, in my next upcoming videos, you will see the bedding set that I went with. It is absolutely beautiful, and I think it's gonna go really well with our new bedroom of furniture. Let me know in the comments below, do you all use um, a quilt? Have you ever used a quilt? They're kind of old fashioned to me in a way, but I also think they're coming back, especially thanks to uh, Joanna Gaines, who is bomb in my book. And I just like the clean lines of it. And um, I think with the bedding that we're going to be going with, it'll just look, it'll look really nice. But again, I am going to be going with the blush and the navies here. So I'm thinking this is a good start. I actually returned those two blue pillows here and I found some better ones at Walmart that are softer and I think will hold up even better, but I'm loving this throw blanket. It is so soft. Like this right here is relaxation all day. Like I could just pet this. It's awesome. All right, now it's time to fold up my old duvet cover. You can also see it's a blush pink. Um, and I don't know, I'm really drawn to that color. I just think it's feminine, it's sweet, and I love pink as you can probably tell here by my channel. So we're gonna get this put away, and then maybe at some point I will maybe whip it out if I get sick of the new bedding that I've chosen. I don't know, it's good to have options. I love this cup. Coffee, 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 all day, air day. So let's keep the fun going. Go ahead and check out my extreme cleaning playlist linked in the description box below. Turn it on your phone, turn it on your TV or iPad, and let's clean together. Again, subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you all in the next one. We'll check you later. Gator.